Hello, welcome back. Um, like and subscribe, I guess, and let's get into it. This is from Adrian's point of view, just so that you know again. Strawberry Vanilla, Chapter 14, Natalie's Reprimanded. Please, Natalie. Here's to Adrian Agrest, kneeling on the cold marble floor, begging Natalie to allow him to see his friends. I haven't seen them in weeks. No. But no! Natalie confirmed firmly. Adrian heaved a heavy sigh and sunk underneath Natalie's gaze, walking upstairs without a word. It had been a good four weeks since he had seen his beloved friends, and he was growing desperate. Marinette and Aldia still hadn't bothered to contact him. They must think I'm having the time of my life right about now. Adrian thought, making a mental note to apologize for not keeping in contact with them later. Not even hours later, Natalie came back up to check on Adrian, who was playing video games while listening to Chinese podcasts. Adrian. Natalie began, feeling remorse and sorrow for the boy. Adrian turned to the source of his name being mentioned. You can go out with your friends, Natalie finished. Adrian stayed silent, processing the information, and when he fully understood, he was up like a rocket, smiling widely. Natalie led Adrian out of the house, where he was greeted by the gorilla, ready to take him over to the ice cream shop where he, su he was supposed to meet his friends. Adrian had thought Natalie was going to be checking up on him. Oh, how wrong he was, and it felt great. The gorilla grunted, pulling up to the ice cream shop where Adrian saw his two friends waiting for him. Wait, two? Adrian looked out the car window to see a smiley Nino and a serious Alia. Stepping out of the car, Adrian went to go greet his friends. Hey, you slacker, Adrian said, slapping Nino lightly across the back. Nino looked back in recognition. Buddy, he exclaimed. Did Mr. Dad let you out of the house? Nope, Adrian smiled cheekily. Natalie let me go. Nice, dude, Nino said, high-fiving his blonde friend. So, Adrian, I've been meaning to ask... Hmm? What? Adrian said, turning around to now face Alia. You and Marinette, do you have a thing for... Sorry I'm late, guys, Marinette exclaimed, running towards them from the street, waving one hand high in the air. Adrian bit back a laugh at how red her face was. She must have walked all the way here. Oh, Adrian turned back to face Alia. What were you saying? Alia turned back to look Adrian in the eye, then looked back at Marinette. Nothing. Alia smiled sweetly. It probably wasn't anything to worry about, Adrian reminded himself. So, where to? Adrian asked the group once Marinette had joined them. Ooh, we should go to Nino's house, Alia said. House? Adrian asked questioningly, only remembering Nino had a small apartment, looking at his friend in confusion. Nino shrugged. Sure, we can go to my house, Nino said, walking towards Adrian's limousine. They all followed after him and soon had arrived at Nino's. Here we are, Nino said, pulling out his apartment key. Alia frowned, but still followed Nino inside. So, what can we do, Nino? Marinette piped up from the behind Alia. Well, uh... We have some board games to play, and my roommate's here, so I could go ask him to join. Okay, Marin exclaimed, happy. We took a few board games and card games, including Uno, Candyland, and Jenga. Nino soon arrived with the tomato-haired boy following behind, or rather, Nino pulled him along behind him. Nathaniel? Adrian asked. Nathaniel! Marin exclaimed, going over to greet her friend. It's been so long since I've seen you. Nathaniel just m 
nodded, a pink hue visiting his cheeks. Adrian felt himself staring and pulled his eyes away. Okay, shall we get started? Alia said, her eyes staying on Adrian. She looked like she was calculating something, but Adrian didn't know what. Okay, Adrian said, trying to take Ollie's attention off of him. It didn't work, but at least they finally started playing Uno. Hmm, draw four, Alia, sorry, Marinette said, looking at her brunette friend as she sank into her chair. By now, Ollie had at least a chapter book's worth of cards. This torture will never end, Ollie exclaimed begrudgingly, picking out her four cards. Adrian couldn't help but smile at the circumstance Alia found herself in, and she glared back at him with a murderous gaze. Adrian looked over to Marinette, who was sitting, her back propped up against the chair, and puffing out her face in concentration. She was really trying to win this, Adrian observed. But Adrian snapped back out of his thoughts and observations when he saw Natalie ever so stealthily. But Adrian snapped back out of his thoughts and observations when he saw Nathaniel, ever so stealthily, scoot his chair over beside Marinette's and attempt to wrap his arm around her. A low growl emitted from Adrian, too low for anyone to hear at the table, but not low enough he didn't notice. Adrian soon found himself reversing the deck over and over again, making Nathaniel draw fours, twos, and eight until Nathaniel was over it and murmured, I'm a little tired. I'm heading to bed. Good, Adrian thought. A wave of relief washed over him. The rest of the night went swimmingly, except for a small accident with a cutting knife. When Adrian had tried to cut a slice of cake for everyone, Nino had kept in his fridge. After that, everyone got home. After that, everyone went home. Adrian riding his limo home with a small cut on his hand. Adrian, Natalie greeted him at the door. All the warmth of her voice had diminished, and Adrian knew exactly what he, that had meant. Her fa- his father was home. Adrian walked into the mansion knowing exactly what he was expected to do. Go see his father. Adrian carefully opened the giant marble doors to his father's study, for he found him looking at a beautiful painting of his mother, Emily, and his father's wife. Hello, father, Adrian attempted to say calmly, which wasn't easy considering the atmosphere of the room was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Have you practiced piano? Chinese? Of course. Adrian heaved a sigh. He didn't know he had been holding. Same old, same old, with his father. Nothing new, ever. Yes, father, Adrian responded nonetheless, turning to the door so he could get out of the room as quickly as possible. Adrian reached for the door, his sleeve rolling up, revealing the small cut across his hand. Adrian, what is that? Gabriel questioned, pointing to Adrian's wrist. When Adrian didn't respond, Gabriel walked up and snatched his wrist up to examine it. Natalie, he called. Oh, no, 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 was all Adrian could hear himself think. Natalie soon came, bustling in without haste. Get out, Gabriel sneered her way. She stopped, standing there petrified, confused. Adrian knew his face read what he was feeling, pity and remorse. Please, father, he choked out, still hanging from his father's grasp by one wrist. Pathetic, he thought to himself. He couldn't even save Natalie. Natalie walked out as if nothing had transpired. She was staying strong. And for what? For him? Surely she mattered more to herself than just some feeble child, right? Adrian found himself with more questions than answers he couldn't even imagine. Sorry, Natalie, he whispered to himself, looking up to face his father once again. You and your injury got Natalie reprimanded, Gabriel said, releasing his son from his firm hold. 
go up to your room. As Adrian walked up to his room and away from the cold glare of his father, he felt himself get more and more relieved. Yes, this was bad, but she had only gotten reprimanded. Natalie had only gotten reprimanded. Everything would be all right, Adrian told himself. Yeah, everything would work out just fine. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, or night. <laughs> Bye!